Let me take you on a quick guided tour of the Axiom.ai dashboard, starting on the left, working our way over to the right. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder. Let's dive in. First up, on the left-hand side, you'll see the vertical icon toolbar. Next to that, you'll see a vertical menu. Let's focus on the toolbar for a second with the icons. I'm just circling it with the mouse pointer. I'm going to show you what each of those icons do. But first of all, it's also displayed in the builder and it's context sensitive, meaning the icons and what they do will change from the builder to the dashboard. Let's just focus on the dashboard for now. The first icon on the top is to your main menu where you can manage your account, access external links to documentation, support, terms, privacy policy, and release notes if you want to see what's new in Axiom. Then you also see there is a, a link to the onboarding guide that you're taken through when you signed up for Axiom, just in case you want to refresh any of your browser automation knowledge. Um, let me just take you through the account section. It's got some important stuff in it. So within the your settings section, on the left, you also have a vertical menu for account and setting your password. So you can tab between the two. In the account settings, you can change your name, email, the usual suspects and set a country. Simply make your edit, then update your account. Below that, you'll see a link to manage your subscriptions. That will take you to the customer portal in Stripe where you can cancel your subscription and change your card. Below that is your account deletion. You can only delete an account once any subscription has been canceled. But bear in mind, once an account has been deleted, it's gone forever. We have had users who have asked us to try and restore their accounts. We can't as part of data privacy. When it's gone, it's gone. Now, just in the password section, you can enter your current password, then the new password that you want to reset. You also see a link to log you out of Axiom's Chrome extension. Okay, let me collapse the settings. The home icon next up, just below the um, menu icon I took you through in the vertical icon toolbar, that'll take you home and takes you back to this dashboard display where you've got your automations that you've made and are running displayed in a list format that you can search. Now, if you do want to check up on the run status of any of your axioms, you can click this button. A dialog window will open where it will show you any running axioms, also completed, and any previous automations after that. You can also see there's a link to view all reports, failed runs, successful runs, etc. Below that, you'll find a link to the embedded documentation that's from our website, embedded neatly into the extension so you can read at your leisure within the Axiom Chrome extension. Below that, we have a link to video guides presented in the list format or an accordion that you can click between different types of guides. Now, if you follow the vertical icon toolbar to the bottom, you'll see that you've got a desktop version and an extension version if any of those become out of sync or old, you'll see an update link displayed there. Now let's go back to the dashboard and take you through the other features. So I also touched upon this menu, this vertical menu to the right of the vertical icon toolbar. Here we've also got some options where we can click on recommended content. And you'll see a list of content that based on preferences set when you created your account that will display recommended content such as guide and template. We have a run reports display, which will give a list of all the report, reports of all the Axiom runs that you've made, where you can click edit to access that automation and edit it, and also to view a full report. But to be honest, those full reports are a little empty at the moment. We will be fleshing this feature out in the near future. Now below run reports, you can see scheduled axioms where you'll see a list of all your scheduled axioms. Remember, that's only a feature available on pro tiers and above. You can then click edit to change the schedule in that automation. Next up in the vertical menu, we have Google Sheets and API key. Now you can connect to Google Sheets via this page. You can also do it 
directly in line in a step. You can also disconnect Google Sheets if you no longer want to give Axiom permission to access your sheets. You also have an option to generate your API token, obviously of use for pro tiers and above where you can use our webhook features and you can also refresh your API token. Now, the final option at the bottom of this vertical menu is the change plan option. You'll see the current plan you have, in my case, Axiom Pro Max is ghosted out, indicating it's the tier that I have. And then I have the option that I can downgrade a tier or I can change my plan up to the next tier if I need more runtime. You also see in this section, we have another link to custom or portal. So you can access your subscription, cancel if you need, and of course, change your card. Let me just close that section. So to the right of the vertical menu, we have the main content section, which will change depending on menu. You've seen that already. So let's go back to the dashboard. Here, again, we see the listing of all our automations where we can search for different automations that we may have made. Keep an eye out for improvements on this section. We will be adding a folder section in the very near future. Now to the most important options at the top, new automation button. But before I show you that, your tier will be indicated here. You can see Pro Max, Pro Max runtime is my tier. And if I hover over the percentage, it shows you the amount of runtime I've used that month. So without further ado, let's click on the most important button, new automation, and start creating bots.